Another new function this year that we've never experimented with is a uh, PID loop, which stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. What it basically does is that it takes a movement and it slows it down and it, when, you get, when it gets close to it and basically makes it a lot easier to work with. So let's see if we can zoom in here. You can see the dashboard for the fork PID loop. And what happens is that we have a set point and then we have a, the actual value back. And the, what the motor tries to do is it tries to get there without like suddenly stopping or suddenly getting there. But it tries to do it. It doesn't really work quite good right now because we have to manually tune the thing. But if you watch the graph, you can see what happens if I tell the forks to go down. You can see the set point right there. And then you can see the encoder value ramp up. And then right there, it's found its home position. Or it's a, uh, it's not found its home, it's found its um, good power setting so that it stays at the uh, set point, which is in this case 99 encoder clicks. If we ramp over to the robot, and zoom out. Yeah, we can't see the forks right now, it's because they're down. What if I raise them back up? What it's going to do now is it's going to uh, oscillate a bit. That's because I have because gravity's no longer gravity's no longer under the forks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune the the PID loop just a bit so that the forks stop oscillating. I'm going to tune it back to the other. So it won't go crazy and it won't. Now I'm going to put it back down and you can see. Wait, let me move the camera a bit. Oops. Right there. So if I move the forks back down, you can see that they slowly go back down where they stop once they get there. And they'll stay there. Like, if I were to add a, try to lift these up, they'll stay there. And I'll move back up and they autocorrect. It's quite amazing what happens when they do this. Um, that's just a short thing on the PID loop with the new robot. Uh, thanks for watching.